We're coming uh, to Easter tomorrow, Good Friday, and it's strange because none of us will be gathering together. We'll all be separate, uh, and I'll miss our gathering. Uh, I will miss being able to speak and chat, be encouraged by and pray with you. Uh, I know that we'll all be joining in together at 10 o'clock, but I wanted to just bring a, a psalm as I look towards tomorrow and Good Friday and remember what Jesus' death on the cross accomplishes for us. Psalm 130, a wonderful psalm. Uh, it starts like this. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. Let me read. If you, Lord, kept a record of sin, Lord, who could stand? That's so big. If God kept a record of my sin, of your sin, none of us could stand in his presence. None of us had hope, have hope. But the psalm goes on, but with you, there is forgiveness so that we can with reverence serve you. With you, there is forgiveness. Tomorrow, Good Friday, we remember Jesus' death on the cross. Jesus, in the lead up to it with his disciples, spoke of his coming death. That by that death, a new covenant would be established where we can be forgiven and our sins washed away. Psalmist goes on, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. That is still the thing we're to do. Psalmist describes that I, I wait for the Lord more than the watchman waits for the morning. It's his job. More than the watchman waits for the morning. And so Israel, it says, church, Put your hope in the Lord, for in the Lord, with the Lord is unfailing love. With him is full redemption. As you spend time with God tomorrow, as you spend time alone with family, encourage one another to put your hope in the Lord, because with him is unfailing love. With him is our full redemption. I hope tomorrow is a time of great encouragement and as you remember and reflect, a time of thanksgiving. Because God has not kept the record of our sins, not through Christ. In him we receive mercy, forgiveness, redemption. And I pray that is of great encouragement. Amen.